Hello and welcome all. I welcome you to this digital lesson of Maulana Azad National Urdu University. I am Dr. Mudassir Ahmed Ghori. Today, I will be taking up English communication skills. This paper consists of four blocks and each block consists of four units. We have already discussed unit 13, unit 14, unit 15 in our previous sessions and now we will be talking about unit 16 entitled email, SMS and invitation writing. Email is the short form of electronic mail, SMS short message service and we will discuss these in detail. Email, also called electronic mail, popularly known as email has taken over the conventional mode or post or snail writing. One can develop the skill to write an email for professional communication if one learns the right way to do it. Email writing is used to communicate with people for official and business purposes, but now it is also used to communicate with relatives and friends. On your screen is a format how to write an email. You will see there are some headings and on headings against each heading you have to write for example to, you will have to write the name or the email of the addressee. Then the subject like as in case of letter writing you have to substantiate the purpose of writing this mail and you will also end this mail with a signature. You should remember some of the basic things in writing a mail. First, subject line. It is the most important part of the email as it shows the reader the subject of the email body. One should write a descriptive subject line in a few words that tells what the email is all about. About salutation, you should remember it is used to acknowledge the reader before they start reading the email to establish a better professional rapport. For example, respected sir, dear friends or any other thing like that serves the purpose of salutation. In the email, you will also talk about the body. The body of an email is a detailed description of your message. It should be written in a clear, informative and comprehensive way. It is always good to maintain polite and neutral tone avoiding emojis, personal comments and gossip. And how do we end an email? Closing refers to the remarks that we use at the end of an email, just like salutation. It is used to part well on a good note, such as cheers, thank you, regards, take care, sincerely, all the best. Let's now discuss about SMS writing. Dear viewers, SMS is short message service that we use for formal as well as informal communication. It is mostly written in form, therefore it is called text. In SMS writing, you can use short forms to convey messages. SMS writing is really useful when you are not able to take the calls directly and you can send an auto responders, triggers, templates, schedule texts to save time. Yes, it saves time. What are the different types of SMS? Let's discuss now. First, SMS. If a SMS contains simple words in it, then it is called a simple text message. There is a limit of characters that we can use to send SMS, whereas MMS can be used with an extended letter limit. What is MMS? If the text message contains a photo or a video, then it is an MMS, means multimedia messaging service. Another type of message is push notification. Push notifications are SMS messages that pop up on your mobile screen. These are automatically generated messages that appear in the inbox alongside other texts. There are in-app messages also. In-app messages are SMS that you receive from downloaded applications on your mobile phone. Now let's take a look at the templates and acronyms that we used, that we use in SMS. For example, BRB, which means be right back. BTW, by the way. 
LOL, laugh out loud. Similarly, TTY, talk to you later. IDK, I don't know. These are some examples of templates and acronyms that are used in SMS. Dear students, you must also know that when we have some gatherings or functions, we invite people. The invitation can be formal or invitation can be also informal. There are two types of invitations, formal invitation and informal invitation. Formal invitation is an invitation sent in, an, in accordance with the convention for an important event. It is generally forwarded through the post and the sender waits for its confirmation before including the person in the event. What should you do in a formal invitation? Mention the name of the host, mention the name of the invitee. You should also mention the date, time, venue of the event, reason for the invitation. Please don't forget to mention the name and contact details of the organizers. Now, on the other hand, informal invitations are sent to friends, relatives, dear ones on social occasions such as birthdays, engagements and other public functions. It is an informal, friendly and persuasive invitation written in the first person where the sender uses salutation like dear, my loving and a complimentary close like yours sincerely, yours lovingly. Dear viewers, having discussed all these four units, let's quickly recapitulate. We discussed about sentence. We discussed about the structure of the sentence, sentence construction, types of sentence and sentence coherence. We also discussed in unit 14, paragraph writing, the types of paragraph writing, and we gave a detailed description about the principles of writing paragraph. We also discussed about letter writing, types of letters, formal and informal letters. And in the last unit, we had a detailed discussion about SMS, email, invitation writing. On that note, I take a leave only with the hope that I'll see you sometime soon. Till then, take care. Goodbye.